All right, and our topic of discussion this morning is going, is going to be Mata's SGR. We are probably going to dissect each and every information to your understanding and to my understanding as well. We, remember, we have talks that, and we have talks every morning just to bring understanding, comprehension to the common monanchi, which is you and I, the taxpayer, where what's happening to our money, how is it being handled. Thus today, we take a look at the SGR. Of course, you have had the claims of uh, many arguing that first of all the SGR was expensive it's not um, it's not what we expected it to be we had people comparing what we have in Kenya as the SGR with other countries like Ethiopia and now believe it or not we are looking at the problems in the SGR when it comes to martyrs discrimination and racism and we have two very able panelists who've joined us on the round table, um, sitting close to my colleague Nalema is a Richard Mosota, who's a political analyst, and the farthest from us is Daniel Orogo, our very good friend to Ebru TV. He's also a political analyst, and he's just here so that we can demystify and break down to our viewers what is going on in our country. Topic of discussion today is the SGR. A very good morning to you, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. How was your weekend? was nice, but hectic. Hectic? Yeah. What happened? We had uh, sports, especially me. Actually, when you sent me a message yesterday, yeah. I was playing off somewhere. Excuse so, us? Yeah. All right, sir. <laughs> we do appreciate you gracing us with your presence. very fortunate I saw your message. Yeah. You know, it could have passed. It's yes, there. exactly. <laughs> yeah. we, we, we appreciate that. Orogo, yes. good morning. It's a, a sporty weekend. Good morning. Mm -hmm. uh, Gormahe was playing the uh, the sec one that, um, Kagami Sekafa, uh -huh. uh, and uh, we are glad that they proceeded to semis. Yes. The team is not doing very bad. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're improving day in the day. We, right. we always sail through, so it's. Uh, yeah. It's quite encouraging. They're getting better. We are hope yeah. hopefully <laughs> in 2022 we'll be seeing our team yeah, in, the, we'll be in the World Cup. In the World Cup, exactly. <laughs> now, uh, gentlemen, I'd like us to delve into Marta's the topic at hand, which is the SGR. Of course, you've had what um, uh, very many people have got to say. It was even going rampant on our social media at some point. And at this point, uh, what we are going to start with is the complaints on Marta's uh, discrimination. But my question is SGR is not the first time that we're seeing discrimination when it comes to uh, foreigners being brought into Kenya to work. SGR cannot be the first one. So why is it making headlines now? Um, well, SGR is such <coughs> a big uh, project. And um, <coughs> with the SGR, mm -hmm. we've seen an influx mm -hmm of uh, Chinese. Mm -hmm. I think why we have a problem with the SGR is because um, either our systems have failed mm -hmm. because they are not making a fall through. As the project came in, mm -hmm. there are certain structures that are supposed to have been put in place, mm -hmm. how it was going to be managed, mm -hmm. how the locals were going to benefit. Mm -hmm. But from the story, uh, I saw yesterday, 